beautiful that beautiful lazy river is. Now we don't have to worry about throw ropes and things of that nature on the Boise River. You can come out here in an inner tube. You could come out with a rubber ducky. You can come out with kayaks, anything that you want. They also rent the, the uh, rafts that you can use to float down the Boise River up there at Barber Park. And then they'll even shuttle you back up to Barber Park so you can get your car. Tremendous resource, exciting time of the year when this finally opens up. But remember, the water is still a bit on the chilly side. All right, let's take a look at some weather and see what kind of graphics we're dealing with and the temperatures we have around the region. What we have are temperatures in the 80s throughout the Treasure Valley. So today was a little bit cooler than yesterday. Yesterday we topped out at 92. I think today we're going to be topping out at about 82 or 83 degrees and tomorrow will be even cooler than it's going to end up being today because we're under the influence of a little bit of a northwesterly flow right now. So that's going to cool us down, but it ain't going to stick around for very long. I promise you the temperatures are going to get downright toasty once again this weekend. Here's the satellite imagery. And you can see we had one weak front that passed by to the north, and that front is kicking off a few scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms up around the north and the central mountains. So it is conceivable that around, oh, I'd say the Long Valley, we may see a couple of spotty showers or isolated thunderstorms developing in the late afternoon and evening hours. Otherwise, the weather is going to be fairly nice this upcoming holiday weekend up in the high country as well. Here's my seven-day forecast for the Treasure Valley. Temperature readings tomorrow hitting 8. 80 degrees, lots of sunshine in the forecast here in the valley itself for the next five to seven days. We'll take it up to 83 degrees on Thursday, 89 degrees on Friday. Starts getting hotter than average now on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. We go into the 90s range. What a weekend to float the river. Take advantage of all that nature's way of cooling off and then we'll keep the sunshine of the forecast through the first of next week. And if you got plans to go to the Long Valley or up in the mountains here in the west central part of the state, we will see partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Temperatures a touch cooler at about 69. And then on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there you can see those temperatures warming up with Saturday being the warmest day of the week at 80 degrees. That's going to end up being the high temperature up in the Long Valley on Saturday and Sunday will be very close to 80 degrees as well with sunny to partly cloudy skies up in the high country. No big storms on the horizon. Everything is looking fantastic. I love the attitude when the folks come out here and they're enjoying all of this wonderful resource that we have right here in our backyard. How many other cities do you have where a river runs through it and you get to float on that river and have fun and enjoy this incredible summertime weather. It's just a true jewel that we have here in the Treasure Valley, Natalie. And first day of the float season marks a very special day. And of course, uh, you know, temperatures are only bound to get hotter in the days to come. And with those temperatures getting hotter, you know it's gonna draw even more folks. Hey ladies, how was the float? Oh, it was, awesome. was it good? Yeah, yeah, great weather. There you go. What more do you need? Natalie, back to you.